So you're thinking about moving to the colony? Well, that's right. We are right here in the colony, which is next door, just west of Frisco. And as you can see, it is lake life over here in the colony. We've got the jet skier in the background. I think you can see them, at least probably hear them as well. But the colony, a funny story here is that this is where I started my real estate career back in 2004, if you can believe that, the uh, first office I ever was at. Maybe we'll see if we can uh, swing by there and check it out uh, whenever I first got into real estate back in 2004. And yes, it's been 17 years. Can you believe that? I'm, I'm actually an old man. I'm, I'm 41. So uh yeah i've been in the game for a little while but uh, we're here in the colony i do love the colony it doesn't really not a lot of people really talk about the colony that much although it's a it's great lakeside living right here in north dallas area just west of west of frisco uh, when you drive into frisco you can hardly tell, tell the difference whenever you get uh, you know across that border but I'm, I'm just over here walking along the lake uh, this is of course lake Louisville one of the best lakes here in the Dallas Fort Worth area and then you have you know you can get some really nice homes that are in great price ranges that are right on the lake so if you want something that has that lake view then you know the colony could be a great option for you so what we're gonna do is like we always do is take you around show you the colony take you to some different homes and different price points so you can see what may fit inside your budget and then at the end I'll probably do a little market recap so you get a good idea of what's going on in the real estate market here and we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas and the surrounding areas like the colony, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. My name is Levi, you know the team and I, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you looking to make their move to Dallas. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. So as I mentioned, uh, I was walking through a little mud right there. <laughs> so trying to watch my step a little bit and make sure I don't sink and get my shoes all dirty, right? Uh, so. We're walking here along the lake. As we mentioned, we're right here in the colony. There's some really great lakeside homes scattered all throughout the colony. Great lake life as well. Uh, we're gonna be doing a video on Little Elm as well. So that's just north of the colony. So keep an eye out for that. Not sure which one of these will come out first. Depends on our editing schedule. But otherwise, you know, uh, it's funny that uh, the colony had just, has just blown up, of course. Now, there's, uh, as far as a lot of the new construction that happened a lot within the last 10 to 15 years and so that was just something that uh, along with Frisco it really started to expand a lot with Frisco and of course now there's less new construction communities in the colony because it's it's mostly built out but you'll still find a few here or there scattered throughout but otherwise you're going to find more established neighborhoods uh, you know all throughout the, co the colony you're going to find uh, some some great lakeside communities uh, we're over here in Stewart Peninsula actually my good buddy and a longtime friend, uh, Michael Reese, who's also a excellent real estate agent, real estate coach, and just overall business professional. Uh, their first house, I remember when we first met up, was here in uh, Stewart Peninsula in this neighborhood. So I don't know, we might actually, kind of, we might walk by it, uh, but it's just funny how whenever you kind of go back, you know, you kind of hit that nostalgia as far as uh, this is where we started out. When we're, uh, I got licensed with, with Michael Reese, um, he got licensed probably two years before me. And then I uh, got licensed in 2004 and we started at an office right, right around the corner over here. I think we'll go check it out just to kind of see what it's like because I haven't really been by there in a long time. Uh, but of course I do a lot of the business just around Dallas and Frisco and whatnot. But you know, other than that, the colony is a great option as you can see. I mean, this is, uh, you're gonna have the, the uh, sunrise is gonna be coming up on this side so if you have any of these homes right over here then if you're a morning person this could be a great option for you uh, right along this side here on uh, if you'd have to go to the no actually I'm sorry this is going to be the sun set yeah this is going to be the sunset so scratch that oh, my directions off a little bit there uh, so yeah actually you should have a nice sunset here along the um, you know right over the lake so that's a great option as well uh, which is what I really like about one of our other um, 
neighborhoods in the Dallas area, which is Rockwall, but that's out on East Dallas. But otherwise in the colony, you've got pretty much A-rated schools uh, throughout the colony. You're right next door to Frisco, so that's easy if you, you know, Frisco of course has everything you need. Uh, there's plenty to do in the colony as well. But the colony, the population is around 43,000, just to give you an idea as to where Frisco is about 200,000. So, uh, you know, the colony is definitely kind of a much smaller community type feel. Uh, but, you know, like I said, not a lot of people really look to the colony, but it's still a great option. We've gotten a couple of homes uh, here recently. We actually got one for one of our clients here at list price. So that is something that is not really happening a lot in this marketplace, but because Here's the key though, you gotta have the right team. You gotta have the right team in place. And we actually just um, closed on a house on Friday that we also got for a client at list price. It was unbelievable. So we got a few tricks up our sleeves as far as uh, being able to work on some of these deals, get them for listing price or over. But at the same time, if you come looking in Frisco, it's still very highly competitive, but the colony could be a good option. So we have been able to secure homes here at list price, uh, also just slightly over. So it really depends on the situation. We take every house on a case by case basis and we work the deal the best we can offline. You know, whenever we actually meet or discuss uh, your home buying needs, we'll give you the, <laughs> we'll let you in on the secret what we do as far as uh, what's helping us win these bids. We haven't disappointed a client yet. So that's a great thing. Uh, so we really pride ourselves on being able to you know, secure these homes, especially in this highly competitive market. So uh, definitely reach out to us if that's something you need help with. But otherwise, as you can see, some great home options along here. Look at this. This trail just keeps going and going and going. So I could walk forever, but uh, otherwise we need to get to the rest of the video. So as I mentioned, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go check out a couple of different homes and some different price points and see what may fit inside your budget. And again, a couple of little facts on the colony. It's about uh, median home value is around 231,000. Of course, I think probably in the threes and fours is probably going to be the more the minimum range where you're going to start out. Um, you know, those, I'd say those stats are a little, a little skewed probably from, uh, filtering in some data from last year, but I would say three to fours is where you, you'd be your entry point. And then, uh, of course you can get up there in, uh, the high sixes and sevens as well, just depending on the particular neighborhood. But otherwise, it's a great option. Um, median income in this neighborhood or this area for the colony is around $90,000. And again, um, A-rated schools right next door to Frisco. So you have all the amenities, everything you need in the Frisco area as well. And of course, you're on the lake. So if you're a lake person, great option to be here in the colony. I love it here. But with that, let's go, uh, let's go check out the first home. All right, so we're at our first stop and we're still in Stewart Peninsula, which is one of the original neighborhoods here in the colony. And I had to wait out the rain a little bit, kind of a rainy day, but you know what? That's what we, we like to sacri we sacrifice for you. So rain, uh, sunshine or snow. You've seen the other video on snow, right? When we had that snowstorm in Dallas. If not, you could check that out. Uh, but I'm over here in the colony, Stewart Peninsula. So they've actually got a community pool in this. They've got a couple of community pools. One of them's Infinity Edge and it overlooks the lake and it's adults only. So if you want to have some quiet time and, and really enjoy that as well and overlook the, the lake on a, on a sunset evening uh, or evening sunset, uh, one, of, <laughs> one of those two, you get the picture, but uh, then you could do that. But we're over here and you can see here, there's quite a bit of activity at this house, but this one is listed at 344,000. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's right at uh, almost 2,100 square feet and it was built in 2001, which is what you're going to find in uh, you know a lot of these neighborhoods in the colony, kind of like whenever I mentioned earlier, a lot of development in the co colony, um, you know, as far as the new construction, 2000s, early 2000s, up through 2010, 2015, a lot of it is finished out now. But right now, as you can see, all the all the cars here ready to go into that that open house. So that's the situation here in North Dallas area right now. Highly competitive, multiple offers on everything. Uh, we are seeing bids going well over asking price. And the home prices are, are priced accordingly. The problem is, is that you've got 30 to 40 people 
also looking to make an offer on that house. So you have to have the right team in place. You have to have the right agent because uh, you can't just throw out offers in this market. You can't do that. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, we take everything case by case basis and we'll let you know. So we work that deal offline as much as possible. And we're gonna come back to you and even see if it's worth making an offer on in the first place. So the last thing we wanna do is put you through uh, just throwing out a m multiple offers you losing possibly multiple offers, you get frustrated, it's emotional, it's up and down, it's not fun for anybody, it's not fun for us, not fun for you. And ultimately, you know that seller needs to find the best possible person as well. So, uh, and plus, uh, it's just one of those things where you have to be a little bit more, well, you have to be a lot more strategic actually in this market. So that's something that you need the right team in place to be able to do that. But you can see here as I'm just walking around, that's what I like about the colony too, is you know you have a lot of uh, growth uh, for the trees, you know, old, older growth trees, more developed. These neighborhoods are much more well established. Some people see that as a downside, as like uh, it's a little bit older. Of course, you know, but the thing, same thing in Frisco. Frisco was built a lot in the 2000s, 2010, 2015. There's, there's definitely quite a bit of new construction in Frisco, but right now it's all sold out. So you can't even find anything. We've got several buyers we're working with that. They're kind of willing to wait uh, because they still want a new construction home in Frisco, but th it's just all sold out. Most of the builders in Frisco sold out the, ne the next two years worth of inventory, which, you know, so they, they plan out these types of things. They plan out different phases in their development. And most of the builders in Frisco, uh, you know, had these phases uh, planned out, but they've already sold through those phases that they were thinking were going to last them over the next two years or so so that's the problem we're running into now we do have the case where sometimes uh contracts get canceled you know people may find something else or uh you know cancel their deposit because right now you can't you can secure a home with the deposit for new construction and people will cancel those you think about it if you're trying to build a home from scratch and that's six to twelve months a lot can happen over that time people sometimes don't get to transfer with their job maybe they lose their job uh, they find another house, maybe their financing doesn't come through. And so those homes come back on the market periodically, like in ones or twos here or there. We have relationships where some of the builders will call us first and let us know that. So that way we can, you know, offer that to our clients. That's, way, that's the way we've been able to get a few deals as well is because builders will call us 24 hours before they put that house back on the market. So it's not that that's anything wrong with that house, but instead of building custom, you know, you could still get a new construction house, just uh, something that's already been in the process or being close to built. So we might be able to find something that's gonna be ready in 30 days or 60 days or 90 days. So that way, if you're flexible and you work remote or you don't have a, a you know, you don't have to worry about moving at a particular time, although this is a great time to move, and also to buy where the rates are uh, the best they've ever been. I wouldn't wait around on that, but you know, there's a lot of things, a lot of factors that go into uh, what we can, how we can navigate this market for you. So don't let anything like that uh, deter you on that. The main thing is to just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. You know, let's talk through that first. We'll talk about our game plan, what we do, how we work with out-of-state buyers and how we've been so successful. So you know really just have the right team in place that's really key we've got a great lending team as well that will absolutely take care of you so don't worry about that but uh, other than that so hopefully you enjoy that house that shows you what you can get for three hundred forty four thousand three bedroom two bath 2100 square feet built in 2001 that's around 168 dollars a square foot not bad for the colony but let's go check out the next price point
All right, so we're here at the next property and we're in the Tribute, which the Tribute is a 1600 acre master plan community here in the colony. As you can see, beautiful homes, mostly built around 2014, 2015. Uh, this section of the community, you'll see the homes are a little closer together. They're, they're in here, but hey, you know, if you want a little less yard maintenance and you wanna be close, there's a, so much to do in this community actually there's two golf courses and of course you're uh, very very close to the lake and they've got resort style pools here they've got splash parks they've got uh, you know pretty much everything you need it's almost just uh, like you're in your own resort and that's that's what's really cool about these master plan communities here in uh, the north dallas area but you can see the home right behind me this one right here is listed right now for $550,000. It's a three bedroom, three bath, and it's just at 2,800 square feet. It was built in 2014. It's going to put the price per square foot right around 199 or so. Um, about, yeah, I think around, yeah, $199. And so, um, again, three bedroom, three bath, but you can see all the styles of homes. Very, very well maintained in this area and really, really nice. Um, but old, overall, a great community again 1600 acres i mean you've got everything you need and you're just right down the street from this is right off of main street uh which uh, has everything you need in the colony and then of course you're just uh, on the border of frisco too so you can always hop over there and do what you need to do in frisco and then you've got the lake uh, i mean literally just right over here uh, i'm going to take you for a little cruise around this area as well so you can see it for yourself but they've got uh, really nice fountains, uh, water features, ponds, cool bridges, uh, you know, uh, two golf courses again. So if you, whoa. Hey. <laughs> that was a, that's a little slick right there. Uh, so be mindful of that too. Whenever you're walking around, always be, uh, always be careful. So, all right. So with that, let's, uh, Let's go check out. Let's go check out a little bit in this community. Let's cruise around real quick and then we'll go to the next house, all right? Stay safe, y'all. All right, now we're in the million dollar properties here in uh, the Tribute Master Plan community. And I think you're in for a treat on this one. This one's pretty awesome. And this actually backs up against the lake. So that's exactly what we were talking about earlier is you get that lakefront 
uh, living and you can have that in your backyard, but it's also got a pool. You can kind of see here some of the other uh, neighbors' houses right over here. This, this section right here is actually on a peninsula, but you can see this home right there. Absolutely amazing. It is 1.25 million, but it's a five bedroom, five bath, it's right at 4,900 square feet. It's got an amazing pool, a huge backyard, pool, spa, or hot tub overlooking the lake, uh, wine cellar inside, all the great, I mean, everything you need. This was built in uh, 2009. It's right around 255, $257 a square foot. So um, a little bit higher than the other ones, but again, you got a million dollar property backing up on the lake. So that's gonna drive up a little bit of a premium price right there. But over that, I mean, you've got a gated entry to, uh, to your back way. If you can kind of see it, it's probably right around there. Uh, gated entry into um, your garages in the back. And then again, all your neighbors, look at how well manicured all the lawns are around here. Absolutely amazing neighborhood. But again, uh, that's what you'll get. Let me show you again right there. That's what you're gonna get over here for uh, 1.25 million. Again, almost 5,000 square feet back here in this master plan community. Uh, just this whole area is absolutely beautiful in the colony. So again, I feel like the colony gets overlooked quite a bit. Every time we mention the colony to people whenever they come into town, they're kind of like, eh, you know, eh. It's not Frisco, it's not Frisco, but it's, we're saying, hey, it's, it's a really great option and there's still opportunities here to find some homes. As I mentioned earlier, we've, we've secured some homes at list price here in the colony, so it just gets overlooked a little bit, but it, it, you're right next door, you're right on the lake. I love the colonies where I started out my real estate career back in 2004. Uh, we're still gonna run by and check out the office, but uh, I tell you what, it's, it's just a great area and uh, it's funny, it's just, it's, uh, now we're back here now we're back um, but yeah I mean I mean I say back but clearly we've been doing business over here but as far as whenever I'm just talking about this video for you guys um, kind of having a discussion about it right so I love these these trees that are blooming these purple flowers are absolutely amazing I actually don't know what this one is called but it's one of my favorites I need to find that out so I'm gonna have to do some research on that one or if you know what type of tree this is you know leave it in the comments as well but otherwise, um, hope, hopefully that uh, gives you a good idea on the colony. We're, we're gonna cruise around this neighborhood though, real quick though, and show you some footage in here. Uh, so let's go check it out.